Hello. I am filming this intro a couple days after I have like finished making the video. I realized that I didn't film an intro and I wanted to film one. So for today's video, I dressed like my Animal Crossing character for a week. If you don't know what Animal Crossing is, are you living under a rock? Basically how I did this is in the game, I spent so long um, shopping and trying to find clothes and basically just making different outfits and trying to find pieces that I basically had in real life. I borrowed some clothes from people in the game and in real life. So shout out to those people for helping me out. But yeah, I did my best to recreate outfits that I made in Animal Crossing. So I have different little themes for each day. So let's get started. Good enough. Hello. I'm not gonna lie, I just do this makeup look and I feel like a pop princess from like 2002. What's up? Welcome to the first day of dressing like my Animal Crossing character for a week. A few things. One, if you don't, if you've never played Animal Crossing, you can basically like take off all of your clothes and once you take everything off, you are left with a white tank top and white shorts. I know this is gray, but let's pretend it's white. Number two, I wanted to do like cute little fun makeup looks and hair looks with each outfit just to kind of spice things up, give it some flavor. So with each look, I'm gonna be looking cute. The next thing, with every day, I'm gonna have like a little theme. So today's theme is a girly look, which basically means I'm going to be wearing a dress. So close to when I first got Animal Crossing, I was, what was I even doing? I don't even know. I saw a present in the sky and I was like, wow, what is this? And there was like this beautiful butterfly kimono in it. And I was like, wow, that is so cool. When I was planning out this video and I was looking through my like inventory and everything that I have, I was looking at the kimono and I was like, hey, this kind of looks like this blue dress that I have. Besides my dress doesn't have butterflies, it's floral print, but it's a wrap dress. So it wraps around like the kimono does. It's not perfect, but it was still so similar and I got I got so excited about it. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm putting this in the video. So we're not starting off our strongest. I honestly think my strongest day is going to be Friday. The dress is pretty long, so you're not even really going to be able to see these, but I just have shoes like this in Animal Crossing, so it works. Here's the dress. <laughs> I don't know if that transition worked. Here is my dress. Um, I'm slipping on these shoes. Walk, keep on walking straight, straight to the hell we made. Why always a wall, babe, when we wanna come close? And you know what I was feeling today? I want to go on a picnic. And I just wanna go sit outside and eat a sandwich. I'm gonna slip these Pure Vita bracelets on just because I don't really have much to accessorize with this look besides my little black purse. Quick little intermission, I wanted to thank Pure Vita for sponsoring this video. If you don't know what Pure Vita is, basically they're just like a bracelet slash jewelry company. How perfect would it be if they were bracelets in Animal Crossing? Like if you could like make friendship bracelets, that would be so cute. And you could like give them to your villagers. Oh my God. Pure Vita is really cool because they have like charity based bracelets. So basically they have bracelets donated to different charities. And then when you buy that bracelet, they give a percentage of that purchase back to the charity. So I am not wearing charity bracelets right now. These are the ones that Pure Vita sent me. Um, it's just like this really pretty green and this kind of golden one has like a little jewel on it. But the charity based ones are super cute and obviously they are for a good cause and they're really affordable. They literally start at $6. Their packaging is also biodegradable and eco-friendly, which we love. Um, they are coated in wax. So when you are washing your hands or if you go swimming, you're in the shower, um, the color won't fade and they basically are just waterproof. I love these ones that Pure Vita sent me. They're just like really dainty. They're very like Pinterest vibes. I love, love, love the color. Um, I think green, like it's like a pastel green that's super in for spring right now. Um, they have over 800 artisans handcrafting the bracelets in different countries like El Salvador, Costa Rica, India, and like a whole bunch of different countries. So basically they are providing jobs for different people, which is awesome. So I'm super happy that they partnered with me on this video. If you guys want 25% off your first purchase, you can use the code Avery25. I will obviously have the link down below. The code is also on screen, Avery25 for 25% off. So yes, thank you to Pure Vita for sponsoring. Now back to the video. Dressy. Yeah. <laughs> I need content for my video. I don't have anything else to film. Because I just told you that you look like you're going to church. Yeah, I'm not. I'm going on a picnic. And Nick said you're going to morph. If you know what morph is, comment in the comments. Everyone knows what morph is. Yes. <laughs> Everyone has seen Radio Rebel. What? What's Radio Rebel? Radio Rebel? Radio Rebel. <laughs> Um, Vegetarian salad. Mm -hmm. What's your good side, mom? Both of them. 
kidding. <laughs> Mine is definitely my left. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, let me see. This side. I'm like I look so much better right here than like right here. Ew, I don't look like, good. I think I like my left too. To <laughs> okay, left, will you to order our food? <laughs> I was, and then you were rude to me because you said I was talking to myself. You had a piteous, mm. you had a piteous dog. Oh. Okay, I'm leaving. Bag secured. So I have this little, I don't even know what this is called, but I have this little thing in my backyard. It looks very Animal Crossing-esque. My stepdad and his brother literally built this themselves. So here's where we're going to be eating. I'll give you a little tour. Here's some plants. Here's a couch, table, another couch, the chair that everyone always fights over. And there's a little fireplace right there. First come, first serve. Hey! That is not for you. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's so funny. What? Are you like, what? I'm done for the day. I'm so full, and this dress is so tight. Welcome to day two of dressing like my Animal Crossing character for a week. I have my makeup done. What do you think? It goes along with today's theme pretty well. So today's theme is. Well, today's theme is boyish, which basically means I'm just going to be wearing black. So I'm in my little starter clothes. I'm gonna show you guys what I have for today, if I can find it. I shouldn't scatter everything over my room. First item, good old pair of black jeans. Next, so my Animal Crossing character has a leather jacket, but they have a white tank top underneath. I have this leather jacket and my Animal Crossing character has it zipped up. This is a little bit too big for me. I borrowed this from a friend also. Next accessory is this chain. We are going e-boy today. This literally is just, it's what my Animal Crossing character has on. So with an outfit like this, you have to wear Doc Martens. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Y'all already know what's going on. I got my platforms. Okay. <laughs> I feel like the only thing that looks wrong is that my jacket is too big. Other than that, it's pretty solid. I can't lie. Last two things. I can't find my black glasses right now. So I'm going to wear these pink ones because juxtaposition. And then I also have this little black handbag. The one in Animal Crossing is a little bit longer, but you know what? We're doing what we can with what we got. And here is my second outfit of the day. I mean, my second outfit in the week. I really have nothing to go do besides like harass my mom, maybe. I think that's it for today. I hope you guys like this outfit. I don't really have much that I can do for today. Yeah, here is today. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow. It is day three. Um, I'm really excited for today because <laughs> the shirt I have for this outfit is literally the exact same as the one in Animal Crossing. So today is just kind of like a casual day. I got my hair up in this cute little bun. I'm wearing very natural makeup, kind of like a no makeup makeup look. It's just really casual. And I also have something fun that I want to go do with that this outfit like fits pretty perfectly. Starting off with pants, I just have this regular pair of blue jeans. This is the exact same shirt that is in the game. This shirt and outfit isn't necessarily like my style by any means, but it was so like, as soon as I saw the shirt, I was like, oh my God, I literally, I mean, I borrowed this shirt, but I was like, I have seen that shirt in real life and I'm going to get it and put it in this video because it's just perfect. I just have some Air Force Ones. I don't know how well this is like gonna go with this, but you know what, it works. So what I wanted to do today in this outfit was go skateboard because I feel like this looks like such a skater outfit with like the oversized shirt, just some jeans, and then some shoes that you can skate in. I actually have been practicing my skateboarding a lot and I've gotten a lot better since, when was the last time I showed me skateboarding? Like last February, I made a video where I transformed myself into a skater boy. And back then I was literally like, I had a phobia of skateboards. I'm also gonna go on a little adventure because the other day I tried to go to a skate park that was near me and when I looked up the location and I went there, it straight up just didn't exist. I 
think I either one had the wrong address or two where it took me was to like a neighborhood so I think they might have ripped it out to put houses there and I think I found a different address for it online so we're gonna go see if that actually exists and if it doesn't then I'm going to go to a different one that I know does exist it's just like 20 minutes away so it's kind of far but Okay, here's the deal. So there is a skate park by my house. Or it's not by my house, it's like sort of close to my house. I was looking for it the other day and I couldn't find it. So I was like, okay, it looks, it is old. I know it's old, it probably doesn't exist anymore. It took me to like a bunch of neighborhoods. So I was like, okay, it's probably not here anymore. Today, I was like, why don't I try and find it again? I tried to find it again, again, couldn't find it. I was like, okay, whatever. It's not, it doesn't exist anymore. I'll go to a different one. I drove 25 minutes to a different one and it was packed with boys under the age of 12. Instantly horrified, turned around, went home. There was like a lot of them. Like there was like at least 30 year old, I mean, no, 30 12 year old boys. So then I was like thinking about that other skate park. I was like, okay, I feel like it's here and I just either like have the wrong address or it's like behind somewhere that's kind of hard to find. So I kind of drove over there again and I couldn't find it. And I was like, oh, this is like so annoying. This old man just, staring at me um okay anyway so then i start digging even deeper i look up on youtube the name of the skate park what is this man doing i look up the name of the skate park on youtube and there's like videos from like two or th like only like two years ago of people skating there so it's like okay there's no way like within two years that they like ripped this up and built all these houses right like there's just no way i watched two videos i start watching a third one and this boy was like yeah like we're going to the skate park whatever so he like goes there and he was like yeah this was like really hard to find but we finally found it and i was like okay so it is hard to find like it's not just me being an idiot like it genuinely is hard to find so i don't have time to go and look again because i've already looked twice and drove like a Around for literally an hour trying to find a skate park to go skate at and I just can't find one maybe another day I will go on a mission and find that skate park I want to find it but for now I'm in a church parking lot and I'm just skating around so <laughs> yeah there's not really much to do I'll show you guys my skills I'm not very good Yes, I'm wearing a helmet. I'm terrified of getting injured, especially my head. So yeah, I'm wearing a helmet. Okay, I'm probably gonna go home. <laughs> day four of dressing like my Animal Crossing character for a week. So today I have something a little bit different because in Animal Crossing you can make custom de custom designs. So basically you can like make your own shirt. And that is exactly what I did today when I was trying to figure out like what outfits I wanted to wear. Kennedy was like, just like do clothes that you already have in your closet and like design them in Animal Crossing. So I did that for one outfit because I didn't want to do that for all of them. Let me get what I got. So starting off, I just have a white tennis skirt. I made this in Animal Crossing. This um, Stussy sweater, Stussy. But I made this in Animal Crossing and so I thought I would wear it with my tennis skirt and then I have one more, well, I have a couple accessories. Okay, I'm trying to think what shoes I have for this and I genuinely don't know what shoes I picked on Animal Crossing. Yeah, that one's better, okay. Next accessory, I have this orange and, um, bandana that I'm going to tie around my head because the oranges match. The tricky thing with head pieces, accessories like this, is like when you have bangs, it's like, do I, Pull them out or do I push them away? This looks so weird on me. I always try and wear bandanas like this because I think it's cute, but it just like doesn't look good. I just like don't really know if I can pull that off, but it's gonna have to do for today because it's part of the look, baby. Next, um, I thought this would be cute to pair with my pink bag just because I like green, pink, and orange together. I just think adding colors is really fun. Here we are. These are Nike Technos. These are like my 
everyday go-to shoe. This is cute, right? I like this. I think this is cute. The only thing that's questionable is the bandana. It's like puffy right here. I'm like, is my head just that big? Or am I wearing it wrong? There we go. I think that looks better. When you have bangs and you wear like a beanie or something like this, this part of your hair that like comes down is cut, you know? Your hair, it, like it starts so far back. So I always have to like pull this hair forward because then it just like looks unnatural when I don't. For my hair and makeup, I just kept my hair straight and then I have this like kind of orangish look. So now I will show you guys what it looks like on Animal Crossing. Anyway, I'm gonna go listen to the new 1975 album and take some pics. I'm getting like British vibes from my face. You get what I'm saying? Whatever, maybe the outfit will pull it together. Okay, I'm just letting you know I saved the best outfit for last. When I found this on Animal Crossing, pretty sure I just like got it from the store. Not anywhere special, but I literally was excited because I have stuff to recreate it literally almost exactly. I found this kind of like, it kind of looks like a school uniform and I thought it would be so cute to kind of make like a little schoolgirl look. Did I even say what my look was yesterday? Cause I don't even know what it was. It was just like, maybe let's just call it like Pinterest girl. So I think like I need to like pull it up but then my forehead looks huge. Cause I don't really know how else to explain it. Anyway, starting off, I have this white button up in this little vest. So I'm gonna put this on and you'll see how everything comes together. I'm taking this lip off. It's making me look too British. I kind of look like a waiter. I have absolutely no idea how to tie a tie, so... And generally you want to make the wide end of the tie twice as long as the narrow end. And make it tight with your neck. I did it! Oh my god! Uh, okay, wait. But you can see the small side underneath. See? Like, it looks fine until you have to pull it tight, then this becomes so much longer. Okay, um, I had to have my stepdad help me because I literally just could not figure it out. I swear I tried this on earlier and it like looked better than it does now. I don't know if it's like my makeup is messing it up or like what's going on. I think this was tucked in. Oh my God, I literally look like a British schoolgirl right now. Sorry, I keep looking at myself like I'm trying to like fix my outfit. Ooh, I can do a ponytail. Or does that look too, wait, the vibe is kind of schoolgirl. I want to look less waitress, more schoolgirl. Skirt. School girl. That's my bad side. To accessorize this outfit, I have like this pink backpack because like I said, it looks like a schoolgirl outfit, but like maybe in like a fan fiction or something or probably like a, not a Netflix movie, something you'd see on Tumblr, you know? I'm only saying that because I'm wearing black tall shoes and my is really short. Anyways, yeah, this is the last and final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know which outfit was your favorite. What do you think was the cutest one? What do you think was the most accurate one? Let me know. Let me know your thoughts down below. Another shout out to Pure Vita for sponsoring. Links and stuff to them will be down below. Um, peace out. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.